Well, hello there. I'm the fan and this is Trip Steam Edition. Just gonna turn the volume down to my end a little bit, it's kinda loud for me, hopefully not for you. Okay. No, I, have a, I have a mouse cursor, but I'm not sure if it's gonna do anything. Once again, once again guys, we're gonna begin this game completely blind. I don't really know what's gonna happen. Select world. Take the first one, I think. Let's take the mouse out of here. For now, if it's not gonna... Okay! Ah, so it is. We do need to use the mouse, it's a first person. What the fuck? Inventory collection, we have nothing there, so... Okay! Oh! <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's colorful. <laughs> can, I, can I jump? Yes, I can, okay, so... Very basic stuff there. There's a... Person with a... Cube for a head. Just floating there. There's a uh, some sort of I don't know. That reminds me of a giraffe for some reason. Although it doesn't look anything like a giraffe. Let's uh, okay. Ah. So we've got uh, there's a swirly thing in that direction. Some boxes in the air there, but there's a. There's something in that direction and something in that direction. I think there was something in that direction as well. Is that, is that like a is that like a floating? Is that floating? What is that? It's a two-dimensional floating cat, maybe. the swirly thing over here first. There's, uh, there's some things that look like they're dancing by the swirly thing and then there's also that, whatever the hell that is doing. Okay, there's a tent here that's empty. So we have, yeah, we have these dancing guys here. And everything goes through us, so that's great. Swirly thing is there. That, that's something that looks like a bull or something, maybe. It's not that these guys are just jumping around. Okay. Okay, let's see. There's not a. There's a. Well. What happens when we go in the water? Nothing. Okay. Well, I don't. I. I don't think I can safely say that this is water. That's a. That's an assumption that I can't really prove at this point. Uh, okay. This. Let's go this way. Maybe there's something sensible in this direction. <laughs> okay, more shapes. Well, here's a... Here's a fake library. I don't think those are actually books. Can I? Okay, that's... Okay, that's a thing that's floating there. I don't know, maybe those are like cereal boxes or something. Can I run? I don't think I can run. Okay. Well, I think the obvious thing to do is to keep going in this direction. <laughs> don't you think so? 
Oh, what, what else would you do? This is, uh, this, this sure is something, isn't it? I think what I'm gonna do soon is I'm gonna go and read the uh, Steam description. Okay, there's something up there that's just jumping up and down. I think I'm gonna go and, uh, at some point, I need to go and check out the Steam description for this game. Like, what, what, what is, th what is it that we are being sold here? There's some uh, flowers and shit here that are impeding me. Okay, fine. Let's not go there. The music stopped when I got here. Well, I can barely hear it, but it's really quiet now. So there's a... There's something that looks like it's just breathing heavily. We'll leave that guy alone, I don't think we are particularly there. And here we have the break dancing section. There's a floating two-dimensional little uh, sword or dagger, maybe. I don't know. Ball here. Oh, we can't go through the ball. We can actually go through most of the things, but not the ball. Okay. Anyway, that was that place. Keep moving. I, uh, I have a feeling that you could actually just loop some loop, loop like two sentences to describe everything you see in this game. Oh look, here's mo some more. Oh wow, some more colorful shapes. And I just noticed that popping is <laughs> the grass or whatever the fuck that is is popping in rather noticeably. So, there's a pyramid such as feeding up there. It's feeding away like you would, like one does in this situation. Can I? Maybe, but why would I? More dancing things. Gravity is not great, not falling very fast. There's a purple area here. I almost said lake, but I cannot actually prove that it's a lake. There's a, another shape on the crown there. There's some, but this. Uh, oh, hello. Awesome. Well, there's just something in there as well. Oh. What does it say? Things are more uh, more alike than different. Awesome. Okay, game if you say so. There's some other text in there, I think. But fuck. Okay, let me just uh, see if I can get. Uh, oh, the Steam overlay does show on the video. See if I can uh, go to the store page and let's just see what the hell it says on the page for this game. This one, I think. It's a seven euro game, by the way. Trip is self described artware, a 3D art platform to be periodically updated with virtual art installations, 3D explorable art sets. Virtual sets will feature works and music by the artist, as theme, aesthetic, or idea solidified in 3D form and fully explorable. Trip is for those looking for an artistic and abstract experience without the demand for an objective. Okay. 
and in here it says Explore an avant-garde cubist dream, stimulate your visual senses and immerse yourself in a surreal trip. A visually tantalizing open world artwork that culminates culminates the player to relax and enjoy culminates Is that the right word? Is it Culminates the player to relax and enjoy a safe environment for them to explore at their own pace. There are no objectives, no rules, just beauty and culminates. That's not the right word. Uh, okay, menu. Let's. Uh, why do I have an inventory in this game? And uh, trivia. Let's. Uh, let's try another one of these. This, like eight more. World two. Okay. Well, this is uh, the pop popping is really quite bad here. But uh, actually, I mean, it's really some kind of dome. It almost looks like I don't know. I don't know which way I'm going anymore <laughs> because every everywhere looks the same. It's a. Uh, it's more colors and shapes, everyone. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, the popping. Fantastic. Can we, uh, can we get like across this little range here? Let's see what's... Nope. Alrighty then, let's try the next one. Uh, begin world 3. It's green. Yep. Begin world 4. Okay, now we got actually something a little bit different here. Okay, this is actually... Okay, this has to be my favorite so far, just for the way the ground looks down there. Oh god. Almost makes me hurt, makes my eyes hurt. Oh, and you can actually kind of platform along until you can't. Great, now we're down here. How do I get back up there? Those stairs. Then again, do I even want to go back up there? Where does that just lead anywhere? The crown here looks... Uh, well, the crown here looks cool. I'll give it that much. Of course, there's just... And I can't go in that direction anymore. Okay. It's a very limited experience. So that was... Uh, was that number three? No. Fuck, I forgot the name. number again. No, that was four. Okay. We want to do is we want to see world 5. Let's just check out all the worlds while we're here. Unless you guys are in a hurry, then you can just close the video and go do something else. Meanwhile, well, the rest of us will check out world 5, and it's. Wow! Oh, oh, oh man. Oh. Well, this is glitching. Glitching beautifully, actually. Oh, okay, wrong button. I'm actually kind of a fan of glitch, glitch art, so that that's uh, that's quite something. I, just, that, I don't know what, what happens when I look up at certain angles. I get that thing up there. It's nice. You know, that if I'm like if I if you want to talk about art actually and like art and video games, then I don't. I think this is kind of a half-baked idea in this game. Like, uh, like this is just uh, if you're gonna make a video game that's supposed to be just a, like an art exhibition or whatever, there's just you're you're missing out because there's so much more you can do with video games that you can't do in other art forms. So basically, it's basically just like. Uh, I guess this is what you get when you have an artist from another medium trying to make a video game that's art. In instead of a video game maker trying to make a video game that's art. 
I would highly recommend you all play, uh, well, the Stanley Parable and the Beginner's Guide. Those, I think, or even Brothers, really. Well, uh, maybe not. But <laughs> let's go play Stanley Parable. <laughs> that's, uh, I would say that's much better art as video game. Or the Beginner's Guide, I love both of those. That's a, well, that's a nice looking swirly thing there. But, uh... Let's go check out World 6. Right. Oh, hello! Eyes. Red eyes. Okay, let's not go, let's not fall down immediately. That's a lot of eyes. Oh yeah. Lot of eyes. There's actually a kind of a face up, up ahead. So this is the best one so far because I can understand bits of it. I can see the face there. Oh, and the face is actually made of... Like a... Uh, yeah, the face is made of... Uh, bits. The thing here is actually that... Uh, as I was saying about video games as art, you're not really, it's not really a video game because there's nothing meaningful you can do as a gamer. You could just have the same place and just have a pre-rendered video where the person just goes forward like this and reveals that the, the face is just made of bits and there's more, more and more eyes and stuff. I mean, I can, yeah, I can choose where I look, but that's really just, that's not enough agency for a video game player, I don't think. I think, uh, I think uh, video gamers are expecting to be able to affect things, like choose to choose actions that affect things, instead of just moving the camera around. Can we? Okay. Okay. Wow. Yep, that was kind of lame as well. World 7, I think. Okay, we have humanoid figures. This one is glitching all the hell, not nicely. Yes. We have... Uh, <laughs> I can't even see what that is supposed to be, but there's a... Well, there's a... Oh, they're... Oh, and we are floating. We are floating in a most peculiar way. And I can't... There's, there's, an, there's an invisible wall. And, uh, <laughs> this is... Uh, I think both as a video game player and as a fan of art is kind of disappointing. <laughs> Oh wow, this just this is a red sky and there's one thing floating. Oh uh, fucking great, it's a... Uh... Homework guys, let's analyze the analyze this art. What is the artist trying to tell us by having a orange white uh, box floating up in this place and having this sort of a runway? <laughs> Analyze, please. I will demand 3,000 words of anal analysis of this by next Monday. Blah. Music was doing something weird there, but it's too low right now for me to... Was that 8 or 9? Fuck. Okay, it was 8. It was 8, let's just check out 9. And the grand finale. It's the same sky. But there's a couple more things here. Wow. I am... I am underwhelmed here. I am very much less than whelmed. Can I... I can't even jump on top of that thing, of course not. Well, there's a floating cube here and there's some... ...things here. There's some stairs. 
that lead to nowhere. I don't, I don't think I would pay 7 euros for this. Actually, I don't remember where I got this because I got too many games on Steam, but I think it's part of a bundle or something. The stairs cannot be reached. You know what else video game players really hate? They hate when you show them things and then you don't let them get those things, get to those things. Wow, it's so wide, it's like the Oscars in here. Wow. Oh god. So, trip. Created by Axel Shock, when used by Adam Vieira. Song with main menu, okay, wow, well, that's just... This load... Load saved trip, I would say, can I save the game? Why would I... Why would I want to save the game? What the fuck? Uh, there's nothing worse than bad artists there. I'll see you next time, guys. I hope you all have a fantastic day.